what's the word that I'm looking for? What's up guys, Dave here back again with another episode of Tech Unraveled and today, today I got these. These are the new Google Pixel Buds Series A. What we're gonna do is an audio test, a mic test, and of course a latency test. I also have these guys here. These are the Pixel Buds 2, the original Bluetooth Pixel Buds from Google. Right away, I can tell there is a difference in weight. If you guys wanna take a close look, you have an LED indicator up top here. You don't have that in the Series A, but the case is identical. So they did a solid job keeping this case because this is one of the best cases to date for any wireless earbuds that I have seen. The Pixel Series A is definitely lighter. Maybe it's a smaller battery. I'm not 100% sure. The lid is just as good as the original Pixel Buds to the OG Bluetooth offering from Google. You know what we're gonna do, right guys? I already told you, we're gonna do that audio test. We're gonna do the mic test. We're gonna do the latency test. So why don't we just do that and get it started right now? Let me get these popped into my ears. It is audio test time. Now I have these paired up to my OnePlus 8 Pro and I already did a software update. There was one available right outside the box. Also, before we start the audio test, the implementation of software updates to the Series A is way better. There is a graphical interface that shows you what's happening as to with the original Pixel Bud 2s, you don't know how far along the process is. It doesn't show you, which is really, really strange to me. But anyways, let's go ahead and open up the YouTube music app. Let's get some tunes cranking. Maximum volume. Here we go, guys. This is my first listen. Very loud. Satisfying. Eyes are crispy. I can hear all the instruments. Clear. Mids are nice. Smooth. Nice and punchy. Nine bucks, guys. Ninety-nine dollars. I have to say, these sound amazing. Now, I wanted to do an audio comparison with my original Pixel Bud twos, but these seem to have pooped the bed. They are no longer working. I can't get them to pair. I can't get them to do anything. So I can't do a side-by-side -side comparison like I originally planned. But I gotta say, based on my memory, these Series A sound better than the Pixel Buds 2, Google's original Bluetooth offering. So these are a step forward in sound quality from what I remember. I like how they sound. The highs were very, very clear and crisp. The bass hit, although not brain rattling, it was satisfying and the mids were nice and smooth and you can feel them punchy. I enjoyed it. So up next is going to be the mic test. It is mic test time. All right, guys, this is the sound of my voice with the Google Pixel Buds Series a, how does my voice sound? Let's go ahead and introduce some ambient noise into the background. Here we go. All right. So again, this is the sound of my voice with the Google Pixel Buds Series A with ambient noise running in the background. How does the mic hold up? Let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Are these worthy at $99? Are they a competitor to everything else in that price point? Let me know your thoughts. Right? Meow. Before we hop into the latency test, if you haven't already, do me and the channel a favor, smash that thumbs up, subscribe, and make sure you turn notifications on. It'll help me out, it'll help you out, because the monster that lives under your bed will not come out and eat you in the middle of the night, as long as you subscribe to the channel. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, now, now. 
Okay, you know, I'm just kidding. It's latency test time. All right, guys, as always, we're gonna test on two devices, an iOS and Android device. The iOS device is an iPhone 12 Pro Max, and the Android device is a OnePlus 8 Pro. So without further ado, up first is the Android phone. Here we go. All right, let's go ahead and switch over to the OnePlus phone. All right, guys, so there you have it. We did an audio test, a mic test, and of course, a latency test. The one thing that I have to say about all of these tests is I am very disappointed in Google and in not including A and C. A and C should be standard in all devices in 2021. I don't understand why Google, a large company as themselves, wouldn't include such a sought after feature. Now there is some great passive noise cancellation, but it is just not the same as having active noise cancellation. Overall, they seem like a very, very solid product. Guys, if you like this video or I helped you in any way, smash that thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe and hit the bell. That way you get notified of my next video. I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.